Hi there, I'm Nurse Casey, medical advisor with Premom. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our Premom YouTube channel so you can get more helpful tips on your trying to conceive journey. Okay, so what are we gonna talk about today? Let's talk about tracking your period and ovulation to determine the most fertile time while trying to conceive. The menstrual period and ovulation are both important signs of fertility and health, which is why it's important to track them both. It's important to track them, of course, when you're trying to conceive, but also when you're not trying to conceive because ovulation is a great sign of health so knowing exactly when that happens and knowing when to expect your period is also really great to do even when you're not trying to conceive. Okay, so let's talk about the whole menstrual cycle. A new cycle begins with the onset of your menstrual period. This is when the uterine lining is shedding from your prior cycle if a pregnancy does not take place. So your first day of full flow should be considered a cycle day one. Now, for an average 28-day cycle, you could expect ovulation around day 14, but that's in a perfect world. So you and I can have totally two different cycles and may never ovulate on cycle day 14, and that can be completely normal for us. But how do we know when to expect ovulation, and how do we know when to time conception? Okay, so period days and ovulation day mark three important phases of the menstrual cycle. The follicular phase, ovulation day, and the luteal phase. So the follicular phase starts from the first day of your period all the way up until ovulation. Then you have ovulation day where the egg can survive from 12 to 24 hours. Then you have the luteal phase, which starts after ovulation day all the way until you get your next period. Both ovulation day and your first day of your period can vary from cycle to cycle, depending on different lifestyle factors or what's going on in that cycle. However, your luteal phase length should stay pretty consistent from cycle to cycle. Therefore, some women who have regular periods or regular ovulation can easily predict ovulation by using a period calculator or a tracking app. However, any period or calculator is a simple prediction, right? So there are many, as I mentioned before, lifestyle factors that can impact our cycles and possibly cause ovulation to happen a little sooner or a little later which is going to reflect on our period start date. If ovulation is pushed back, then you can expect your period to be pushed back as well. If ovulation happens a little bit sooner, then your period may happen a little bit sooner as well, right? You expect your period about 12 to 14 days after ovulation happens. So this is why it's so important to use LH testing kits in combination with the Premom app when trying to conceive. By using those LH testing kits, you can pick up on that LH surge and know exactly when ovulation is happening. It's crucial to make sure that you're timing conception accurately, and you can do this by using the Premom app. This is going to give you a better idea of when ovulation is going to happen, and then that's going to give you a better idea of when to start ovulation tracking. Okay, as mentioned before, if you ovulate a little later than predicted, the Premom app is going to start to learn your cycle and give you better predictions for the following cycle. The more information that you provide the app, especially when you're using those LH kits, the more the app is going to learn about you and the more accurate the period and the ovulation calculator will become. And then the more you're gonna learn about your cycles. Knowing when to expect your period also means you know when to take a pregnancy test. And hopefully that test is positive. And this should help minimize the likelihood of you testing too early or giving you a false negative. I hope this information was helpful. And I hope that you can take this information now and start your ovulation tracking so you can accurately time conception on your trying to conceive journey. Don't forget to subscribe to our Premom YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any helpful videos.